conferences soul winning is for many people an epileptic christian experience that just comes when opportunities provide there are many reasons among them is because we have not been living testaments of that message and that life ourselves because the way god structured impact is that when anything blesses you you automatically lose the ability to keep quiet there were times that jesus blessed people and told them to keep quiet they were too grateful to keep quiet so your silence and your inertia as far as reaching out is more than a demonic issue it is because we are so used to a failed christian experience are we together that our christian experience has become a plethora a, a repetition of failure to a point that we've just camped around the religiosity but we love people too much to bring them into this our whatever it is that does not work so we would rather talk to them about something else but not jesus but i'm praying for you in the name of jesus that your christian experience will be so rich that everything about your experience your life your testimonies will be compelling and it will bring men to jesus on a daily basis in the name of jesus christ the bible talks about the madman in gadara this was a man who was mad locked up by demon spirits in caves when he had an encounter with jesus Ten cities, ten cities, he went to the Decapolis and announced and published the good things. The same thing happened to the woman at the well. She was not asked. Jesus did not say, go and tell the people. The Bible says she left, her priorities changed immediately. She left whatever it is there and she ran. This was the same woman who was probably ashamed and afraid because of her state being a harlot she said i don't care what you think about me i have been so transformed i cannot keep quiet come see a man i don't know his name but i can tell you what he did come see a man that told me everything that i have done the first mandate of every believer is not to build a house the first mandate is not to have children the first mandate is not even to be a preacher the first mandate is not to be a businessman please listen carefully believers need a new superior spiritual reorientation to understand the priorities of God you see let me tell you the reason why it looks like God has so lavishly invested upon others and has seemed to leave others it's not because there are any prejudices or biases with God it is because others have plunged more accurately into the heart of his program hallelujah yes. in order of priority establishing the lordship of christ in the hearts of men whoever participates actively in making that happen i can tell you that person number one is at the epicenter of the will of God you know we live in a world today where everyone is asking what am i here for i mean what is my purpose there is a general corporate purpose for everyone before we go into all of the the geography of our weakness no matter what it is that you know or do not know about your life you are not truly working in kingdom purpose if your life is not helping to establish the lordship of christ in the hearts of men are we together most of those we read of in the bible and in history who were lavishly empowered given so much access to their